Hello, and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Invention in the Basement. So in this game, it's the 90s, we're playing as a guy named Daniel, we got a letter from our friend that basically says, hey, come to my house, I have an invention that's going to change the world, help me on it. So I guess we're going to his house, and going by the title, it's probably in the basement. So I'm going to have the game linked in the description down below if you want to play it yourself. Without further ado, let's get into it, Invention in the Basement. Which also says it's a bit of a puzzle game, which I'm into. Those controls went by quick, but I'll figure it out. My name is Daniel. I received a letter from my friend. He is working on a new invention. That went by way too quick, but I think it's pretty much what I just said in the intro. So no big deal. Can I read any of this? Oh, they're just like little scribbles. That's actually how my signature looks. So if you ever like, ever want to forge a blank check by me, that's literally how I sign my name. Just little straight lines. Oh, hi. Can I take this stuff? Yeah. Got a flashlight, pick up a backpack. Ooh, okay. Whoa, the flashlight actually works really well. Usually, like, in these uh, games, like, right, you have, like, the little circular flashlight that does, like, nothing. But this actually works, like, well. Okay. Hi, what are you? You a chest? Box is locked. I must find a way to open it. Okay. What's this? Welcome, Daniel. If you find the door closed, I left the key inside the box. You know how to count, right? The light's password is 124, by the way. You didn't see the monster behind my house. I found the statue in the forest. It looks cool, huh? So there's a monster behind the house. There's a code 124. Ooh. Well, that light switch is C. Ooh. It's probably we turn lights on a certain order, right? Probably like A, B, A, B, D. Is what I would assume, yeah. Well, we got like a little padlock here. Okay. You said a monster. Ooh, that looks kind of monsterish. What do we got? Interact. On the right hand, the monster is holding an axe, but the left hand is empty. So we probably got to put something in the hand. And that is D there. Okay. Can I go inside the house? Door is locked. Oh, hello. What's this? I'm in the basement right now and still working. I told my friend Oscar to lock the basement behind him. He left the key to the basement for you in the generator room outside. Take it and follow me inside if you are reading this. Well, we're going to do 124 really quick because it's a light puzzle. So let's see. So we're going to find... Oh. Yeah. One. Two. I'm assuming this is what it is. And four is here. Yes, did that open up the back door? Door's locked, okay. Did that maybe open up this door over here? No. I heard something open up. Oh, maybe the chest in the front? But how would that connect to the chest? In the it's a video game. We don't question it, but we're going to say... Can I interact with this, by the way? No? Oh, Hi. House key. Ooh, nice bearskin rug. What's this? Seems there's a candle missing. Okay. Hey, look, a candle. Put that in there. Got a lighter. Can I light these? Yeah. A little bit awkward. You had to, like, left click. Ooh, what was that? You have to, like, left click to open up the lighter, then press E. That goes out back. What is this? Oh, a fireplace. Why would I want wood for the fireplace, though? Alright. This is pretty smooth sailing so far, though. Oh, you know what? I probably... Oh, I probably give the monster the wood and then I get the axe, right? Yeah! And then I saw a door I couldn't open in here. Can I get this? No. How about in front of the generator? Can I get, like, the padlock here, maybe? Yas, queen. Basement key. Nothing too scary. Ooh. I was gonna say, you died. Huh? What do you mean I died? How did I die? What? I'm confused. You gonna redo the entire thing? Oh, I'm not down with that, man.
That's a bit silly. One. Two. House game. At least it's quick. This game was super easy to figure out, so it's not like it's a huge deal. But it is a little bit annoying. Because I don't know where I went wrong. But on the bright side, I'm already almost all caught up again. If you know what you're doing, this takes uh, seconds. I'll say, well, like a minute. We out back? Into the basement? Okay, what do we got? Okay. What's the exit? Um, what do I do now that I'm in here? I was kind of in here. I can't leave. Um, hello? Um, am I soft locked? Do I gotta reboot the game and do this again? Uh, I think I'm soft locked. Huh. I'm gonna reboot the game really quick. Hold. Do a good reboot skis. Let's go. Not a big deal, because again, like, this game's really quick. But, you know, it's not very positive. Is what it is. Let's go again. Let's see how quick I can do this. So we're at 727 in the recording. Perfect. Let's see if I can do this in one minute. I will say though, like the actual like outside of like the controls being a I shouldn't say controls being janky, but like the interface being a little bit janky with how you do things. Um very quick and easy to pick up and understand the puzzles kind of given. And I appreciate that. I like a good puzzle that, like, at least makes sense. Like, I can look at it and be like, oh, yeah, no, of course it makes sense. It's like a lot of puzzly games like this kind of tend to go way out of left field and make literally no sense. A lot of escape roomy kind of puzzles do that. Okay. In a minute. I got the key. And same situation. Alright. Well, uh, I don't think we're going to see the ending of this one. There's nothing here. Can I, like, break down the wall? Wait. I had an option to put, put in an axe. What? You gotta do it like in the dark. Oh. I... Huh. Enter the demo. I didn't realize we were playing a demo. <laughs> and I don't know how the axe... I was just like, oh, everything makes sense. And then we get like the axe in the wall that you have to do in pitch black. I don't... Well... It did buff our playtime up to 10 minutes, like the uh, store page kind of uh, said it would. Um, I don't hate it, honestly. I'm kind of confused by that ending sequence there, and I do think, like, the UI and, like, can just, you know, look a little bit cleaner, a little bit better. Um, but yeah, we'll see where that goes. Uh, there really isn't much to comment on with that so far. I wish I knew what the invention was. I wish I knew what, what really just happened, but, eh, what can you do? It's just one of those early games on itch. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too spectacular. But you know what? I'll keep an eye on it because I like my horror games. I like my puzzle games. Uh, and I wish I just had more to say about it. 
Uh, I appreciate the flashlight actually working. That was cool. Uh, but I guess that's going to do it for the video. So again, that's Invention in the Basement. I'll have it linked in the description down below if you want to play it yourself. But that's going to do it for this video. So thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day. And as always, toodles, y'all.